boys' weekend. Sorry if I look a bit tired. It's not even five o'clock in the morning yet. It's quarter to five in the morning. Um, as mentioned in the last episode, I need to uh, to take the boat up to Blue Water Marine in the fair late. So I've got to just picking up Royston, and then we've got a three-hour drive to get up to uh, to Wales. Uh, I've got to get the boat out of storage and uh, take it up to Blue Water Marine in Buffalo, which is about 20 minutes away from the storage, but I've got to be there for 9 o'clock um, so we can have a brief look at the engine and see if we can um, uh, solve that issue that we're, that we're having. Um, fingers crossed it's something simple. Plan for the weekend is take that up there. If you can get it sorted and it's something simple, uh, I think we're going to get the boat in the water over the Buffalo side. And, um, yeah, have, a, have another attempt to do a bit of, bit of dolphin spotting. Um, go for some lunch, a bit of a swim, a bit of a dive. Um, yeah, that all depends if we can get the boat sorted. If not, we'll get the jet skis in. Jimmy T's on his way up there now from Manchester. Ben's already up there. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a lads weekend this weekend. But uh, yeah, I think that's that's uh, pretty much it. Get the boat sorted. Fingers crossed. If not, get the jet skis in and uh, have a cracking weekend. Weather's meant to be good, it's meant to be a bit windy, so I think we're just going to play it by ear and uh, see what it's like once we decided whether we're getting the boat in or the jet skis. Um, but yeah, we'll see what it's like when we get up there. back in Wales um, as expected the wind is terrible so I don't know if we're even gonna get the boat in even if we get it sorted this morning just on our way down to the storage now so we're gonna get it uh, get the cover off take it out to Pafele fingers crossed he can sort it and it's a simple fix but like I say even if you get it fixed I don't know if we'll get it in the water because of the wind um, we might still get the jet skis in uh, see what happens. Jesus, the reed sweat on. Morning. Morning, Scott. Where are you? Just about to um, pull back onto the road. Stick that over to the fella. Have you got the boat already? Yeah, I've just got it off. Happy days. Are you doing coming straight back or? Well, I'm going to let him have a look, see what he thinks. Hopefully I can bring it back with me if he sorts it, but if not, I'll have to leave it there. Alright, sir. Well, I might just pop over there then. Pop over where? To the belly. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm still on site if you want to run down. Um, I need to jump in the shower. Alright, then, sir. Um, yeah, so what's the way like in cricket? Big. <laughs> Massive. Massive. <laughs> really? White tips on everyone and it's crashing, crashing on the beach. A couple of foot, three foot. Paddleboarding weather then? Yeah, paddleboard. Perfect for paddleboarding. Get that fucking paddleboard out. Might still be able to get the skis in down on the... Down on Ticot. Yeah, you just, just gotta watch with the, the waves crashing on the beach. Yeah, it's, uh, you shouldn't have too many to be honest mate, because it's a south west, south east of the wind. It's glass down at the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, oh, sound. I'm going to run this yeah, over there. Uh... Yeah, I'll jump in the chair and I'll come back over there. Alright, sound, yeah. Why well, I'm feeling a bit of well, ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Yeah. 
Well, chill, kid. Well, chill. It's all sorted. Um, believe it or not, there was actually nothing wrong with it uh, because I put a new impeller on a couple of months back. It's something to do with the backlash of the gears, and when it's put in the water, the friction of the water counteracts the backlash of the gears. So, yeah, good news. Well, we're nearly back at the campsite. Um, Thankfully we've managed to bring them out back. We was going to get it in if they managed to sort it, but they've sorted it and the wind's shocking. It's not 45, 50 mile an hour wind, so the sea is absolutely crazy. So we're not going to, the wind's meant to be going off tomorrow, so we might get it tomorrow instead. So we're going to drop the boat back in the storage to get the two jet skis out and uh, get out on them instead. Uh, we're going to drop them in at a different place to what we normally do. Uh, just have a run about somewhere now that we've, uh, we've not been before. Um, there's the four of us on the two skis, so have a couple of hours out on the jet skis and um, see what the weather does. I'll put it down. Well, right, we're all kitted up, just got wetsuits and everything on. Um, just back in the boat into the storage now. I'm going to get the jet skis out, get down to the beach because the wind is still. Crazy, so it's going to be a bit rough to try and launch the boat. So we're going to get the jet skis in instead and uh, get the boat tomorrow because the weather's meant to die down a lot tomorrow. Like we're on a bit of an off roading mission to get down to the beach. Just pulling down to the beach, and um, wow, that is crazy. That's not as calm as I think it was expecting it to be. That is <laughs> absolutely not in it. Jesus. <laughs> what, what's the wind like? I think it's about three or four more an hour wind today. That, Condition, a lot, conditions are perfect. Um, should be a really nice day out on this calm day. This is a pretty tricky launch, even in good weather with a slipway beam. Sort of there it is. Can't really pick it up at the GoPro. Sort of levels it out too much, but it's quite a tricky, uh, quite a tricky spot. And as you can see behind me, the weather's pretty crazy. So we've sort of left this one until a, a better day, but for now, guy's going to make his way back up here. Hopefully, in two-wheel drive, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, boys. Yeah, all good, mate. Not too bad. We bottled this one then for a for a better day. Yeah. I just thought, I'd, thought I'd come and get a bit of footage of this uh, recovery. Obviously, like I think the intended use for this one would have been a fisherman's launch. It's not really intended for the public, as you can see. It's a little bit sketch. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, the fishermen would have launched from here. They've gone out there, there's a ton of lobster pots. Great lobster fishing, catching, fishing, catching lobsters down here in North Wales. Oh, he's digging in. Four wheel drive. 
wheel drive indeed. spot um, down on Morford Haven where we usually launch because that's a bit crazy the winds change direction and it's blowing straight into the base so to launch in to get out is a bit uh, would be a bit sketchy so we're gonna try on our usual spot in that bay we usually launch at and see if it's any calmer in there. Um, yeah I think the wind direction's completely changed and it weren't meant to be like this round here but oh well try the next one right we're just pulling down to our usual spot and it's uh it's still windy but the waves ain't half as bad so i think we're gonna launch them here have a whip around the bay probably a punch over to bird rock um yeah like i say it's not half as bad here it's quite sheltered across from the from the uh, from the headland absolute amateurs boys there's no water there <laughs> oh my life. We're just testing the integrity of the hull because it's choppy out there. We wanted to know if we take a good beat. <laughs> so this is the second location which is our normal location. And as you can see, this is actually pretty good. Um, out there past that headland it's choppy you've got like the wind coming this way so how far we'll get out to our usual spot over there which is bird rock not sure but i think we're feeling up to it what do you reckon guy oh my word jesus <laughs> <laughs> that's going on <laughs> cheers boy so yeah hopefully with a bit of luck I reckon we'll get out there. It's going to be a bit choppy, but uh, yeah, back. Full through a couple of drinks for sure. Unfortunately, I'm riding pinion. I'm on the back with Jimmy T, who is not an experienced pilot, but we'll see how that goes on. There's a good chance that I could be swimming today, so I'm relying on guys to come and pick me up. What do you reckon, mate? I'm going to pick him up. You will, because I've got the money for the pub. <laughs> Right, we'll see you out on the water. Aye! Oh, look! Cheers, boys! It's a bit breezy, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit breezy. This, um, this bit of headland just went for a shelter. It's absolutely crazy coming over there. Every single way we can get it hammered. Uh, Benny Jimmy T just on the way around there. Just 
shots in this little bit of yak. It's still a bit choppy and um, the wind's still up, but it's not as bad as it is out there. Good fun, man. And a bit sketchy. <laughs> Jimmy T's been a pussy! You've been off from there. It's deeper off the end, yeah? Off the edge, yeah? Back in the storage, Rossin's gone off for a shower, get out his wet suit and freshen up. Um, oh, we're all absolutely shattered. It's been one hell of a day, one hell of a ride out on them jet skis today in that chop. Just gonna give a swell off and uh, get the engine flushed. Go up and have a shower of myself. Start cook, cooking a bit of food. Chill out with a couple of drinks, I think. Our plan for tomorrow is. Um, the wind's meant to be dying down a lot, um, so I think we're going to take the boat over to Pafeli, the salt that we was over this morning. I think we're going to launch it there all being well and um, have a couple of hours out on the boat. Playing football for um, it was a veterans league and you had to be over 30. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be over the plate. It, 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 it was over 35. Don't look it. <laughs> Jimmy T farted just. And I was fucking like, fucking hell, boys. What did you give me, eh? They looked at these. No. Really fucking shit. Uh, I'll pick up two first. Wedge in the bank. Wedge in the bank. Yeah, exactly. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Force deal. Swap any one of yours. I'm gonna swap that with that green one, please, my man. Oh, <laughs> dirty boy. <laughs> I can get to rent it as well. Rent was thirteen quid a piece on that. My next card was I had one of them force deals again. Yeah. So I was going to come for that for a gun, yeah. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Russian, so you knew. <coughs> I didn't have one. Well, it's the next day. Uh, we've got up this morning, had some breakfast, just uh, heading down to the boat, sort of going to get the boat out. <coughs> That we've got to get out to the Buffelli foot. Buffelli side, which is where we wanted to launch yesterday. Um, weather's died off a lot compared to what it was yesterday as well. So it should be good. We're going to uh, 
Mostly by Open Fairly, have a run around the coast, so you can spot any dolphins and uh, there's a couple of islands just out there that we like to have a bit of an anchor up and a bit of a swim. <coughs> um, so I think we'll probably head out there. Trim down now, 